started like five years back by and large. Uh, we produce and direct commercial mostly for for Dhaka and also in sometimes for abroad. So we have been working around for last five years. Before that I was in agency, I was in production. Then I started my own venture, uh, started working with a uh, different producer, started uh, like, you know, worked as a freelancer first. There are situations in your life, whoever you are, whatever your professions are, at the beginning there is a lot many struggles. I, I, I should not say I worked for free to begin with, but yeah, I had a tough time to begin and to establish myself so that people actually, you know, start realizing the fact that you are capable and they started noticing your work. I was in agency, when I came to agency, I was very clear I wanted to direct commercials. But at that point of time, agency and the industry was not that big. There were like only few directors they used to work. And we were mainly uh, depending on outside producer and directors to produce commercial for Bangladesh. And by, by the time I realized I can do something actually, I came out of agency, I started doing small stuff. I should not say I'm a self-taught guy. Like, and, and also it's a, it's a reality. At the, po the point, at the point of time we started, which is like early 90s, as a school student, I had this uh, knack for like, you know, watching movies, like, you know, going to different festivals and all, and I was in a small town. So there were no question about going to a film school per se, like, you know, there were no such infrastructure. But I would say I went through kind of a, like, you know, very semi organized kind of a structure and environment. I essentially end up meeting with some amazing people, some mentors and went through archives, libraries, books, meeting people, watching interesting movies. And that's how the, the whole, this understanding of filmmaking and everything, I mean, came to a particular person like me. See, there is a, there is a producer entity and there is a director entity. It's quite, it's a, it's a very different. Uh, in reality, actually, I am I am the director and also I am the producer of this company. But when I direct, actually, I really don't meet my producer entity. And also, to ease my work, actually, I have like a you know, lot many people around me, especially my EP, which is the executive producer. He take care of my whole aspects of the practicalities, the managerial and the management aspects of filmmaking. In Dhaka, actually, if you looked at the top productions companies, the directors and the owners are same. Meaning. Directors and the producer is the same guy. So actually, actually so it's a, it's an art of like, you know, living with two different entity. I think the best things when you decided to start, just start. There is no look back. There is no, like, you know, there is no confusion. There might be hundred, then a thousand piece of advice somebody is ready to give you. But I think whoever decided to take that first decision, I want to do it. That's the things and you should believe in yourself. Don't listen to anybody, go ahead and do it. Because of there's excitement of doing it first times actually. When I started my own company, it was like that, it was nothing. It, was a, it wasn't just an idea, it was void, a bubble. But when you started really working, it is really fun because of you encounter every little problem, every little possibilities and you build the whole things together. I think, I think it's nowadays very possible because of everybody is now connected through social space and all. I think any sensible, any sensible guy, whoever directing, producing, and all, they look for the new opportunity, they look for the new talented and all. So if you are interesting enough, if you have a story, if you are really talented, I think there should not be any excuse you are not connecting to the hub. There are a lot many opportunities. For example, if somebody really write me, who is quality, actually I run after him actually. We always need good handy people. We really connected to youth people through our all these young eddies and all. We have some Facebook program, which is especially designed a close group. We have this unique intern program called Shift. See, I never worked anything which I didn't like. So whatever I'm working, I really like and I take full satisfactions. I go home, I sleep, like, you know, with my utmost ease. So. I like my work. That's the best things I do actually. I like my work. Yeah. So I, I'm really uh, satisfied. I don't have any regret. Never. Of course, I'm like we are progressing and we are learning every day. It's a, it's a small industry and there are like lot many flaws, like you know, lot many infrastructure issues. We don't have lot many things. We still need to travel for post-production. 
we had like you know we have issues with like you know we don't have good lightings and all so i'm sure i mean it's all coming back to position like you know there is a lack of investment in our uh, industry but what i can see the possibility because of the production industry started speaking people started noticing i'm sure somebody somewhere thinking to invest in the industry know your limitations that's more important things it's important to know like you know what you can't do what you don't have rather what you can do i think that that's by and large we you know we can do lot many things but lot of people don't know what they can't do i always try to like you know give that one piece of advice know your your limitations you have to really you know you can't do anything and everything you certainly has got some flaws and you try to work around that and work with the best people around you always hire people who which is like superior than you 